But first tonight, three Austin police officers won't face criminal charges for a shooting that happened last October. Good evening, I'm Mike Warren. Christine's off tonight. A Travis County grand jury cleared the officers after hours of testimony from nine witnesses. Fox 7's Elizabeth Sobs joining us live from the Austin Police Department with more on this story. Elizabeth. Hey, Mike. Yeah, those three officers were responding to a 911 call at a home in North Austin. Now, it's what happened after they got there that led the DA's office to launch an investigation, and it was all caught on police dash cam video. This dash cam video shows Austin police responding to a 911 call last October. Officers pulled up to a North Austin home to find a man shot in the leg. Lying in his driveway, he describes the man who shot him. I heard three pops and then my legs hurt. I looked up and I saw a guy wearing a black long or blue long sleeve shirt, maybe with a grace section on it. Like okay. Rugby style. Like I okay. Couldn't see much more than that. That's when paramedics spotted the suspect, Jamal Tyler. According to police records, Tyler fired his rifle and appeared in his yard. <laughs> Dashcam video captures Tyler running towards cops. Rifle in hand, it appears he's taunting police. Police say they asked Tyler to drop his rifle. <laughs> then all three officers fire. Tyler was shot in the chest and taken into custody. He was booked and charged with aggravated assault on a public servant with a deadly weapon. A first-degree felony, Tyler pleaded guilty in July. His eight-year sentence was deferred. We reached out to the Austin Police Department about the grand jury's decision not to indict those three officers. They did not respond to our request for comment. That's the latest here live downtown. Mike, back to you. Okay, Elizabeth reporting live for us tonight from downtown Austin. Thank you.